Hello, Richard Beach here from Sonic State Amped, and welcome to this, our bite-sized review of the digital reverb pedal from Boss, the RV5. Uh, we're looking at 30 Boss pedals over the space of a month, and today it's the turn of the reverb pedal. So I've got this running into the effects loop on my Egnator Rebel 20 behind me, and I'm going to show you, first of all, what my dry signal sounds like, and this is what it sounds like. And then in terms of reverb, there are a number of presets. At the moment, I'm on the spring reverb setting, and I've just got my time at noon. I've got the tone down slightly because adding too much creates a hiss, uh, a little bit of a hiss on this pedal anyway. And on the effects level, which is basically the mix going into my effects loop, uh, I'm on noon as well. So we're not swamping it with reverb at the moment, just giving it a little push. I'm going to take you through some of the presets now. Uh, at the moment we're on spring. I'm going to take that down to modulate. So we've got things like uh, modulated reverb, we've got spring, uh, gated, room, uh, plate, so a number of options. This is sort of one of the weirder ones, one that you might actually use as an effect rather than just you know having a little bit of in your mix. So to accentuate that, I'm turning the amount of time the reverb time up basically and the effects level up to about three o'clock. <laughs> So really nice glittery effect there, you can hear the pitch changing ever, changing ever so slightly in the background, giving a chorus effect, and it just sounds sort of on the right side of bizarre, so not too much of a, a bizarre reverb effect, but nice enough so that you can actually use it as an effect in songs. Let's go on to Gated, which is uh, really, really cool actually, and I'm going to change to a distortion sound now, uh, just to show you what that sounds like. So really cool, uh, sort of eerie reverb effect, and it's pretty much side chain to your playing. So when you're not playing, no reverb at all, and really quiet. And when you start playing, you get swamped in a really nice reverb. Really usable and cool effect. Uh, getting less of the sort of settings that you might use as an effect, and more onto the ones that you might just use to flavour your sound. We're now onto the room reverb. Now we're on the hall setting. And now on to plate, which is one of my favorite ones. Okay, and one last sound, uh, just gonna go for stadium rock, basically.
So there you go, a lot of fun. Uh, really great re reverb pedal, I think. Uh, there's a, a lot of different settings. Some of them work better than others. I think I'm a real big fan of the uh, plate reverb. Not such a massive fan of the spring reverb because I just don't think it sounds that authentic. And I quite like the hall reverb just for messing around and having fun and pretending I'm on Wembley stage playing in front of thousands of people, which will never happen by the way. And uh, modulate gate and room. Um, yeah, all really cool. I think Modulate is really usable as an effect, like I said, so if you want something to help you writing song, coming up with cool riffs, Modulate is cool. And Gate, if you want the cheesiest ever 80s reverb sound, that is your setting right there. So yeah, good reverb pedal, a, basically a utility pedal if you want lots of different reverbs. This is the one.